What is going on guys and gals, Brooklyn Bound the Raid Scientist here and today I want to quickly show you how you can get the extra secret red border chest to spawn at the end of the Crotus End Raid. This will guarantee you one random red border weapon of any of the raid weapons and will only be awarded once per account per week. To get this chest you have to activate three statues along the way throughout the raid, but you have to activate the correct ones. So, when you load into the fresh raid and you're at the entrance building the bridge, you want to look across the Hellmouth for three pairs of statues. Off to the left as shown, down to the right as shown, and then way down below to the right as well. In each of these three pairings of statues, one of them will be on fire and the other won't. You need to make note of which statue is burning in each pair, the left one or the right one. And then write these down for all three pairs in order from left to right. So for example, the leftmost pairing in this example has the left statue on fire. So we would write down left for set number one. Then in this middle set of statues, the right statue is on fire. So we'd write down right for set number two. And then finally down below to the right, the left statue is on fire. So for the third set, we would write down left. So the code we have is left, right, left. Now, we need to find the three pairings of statues throughout the raid and activate the correct ones. The first and second set of statues is in the bridge encounter. The first set is at the entrance in the far rooms. The orientation of the statues is if you are facing out towards the end of the bridge, so this side is the left statue and this side is the right statue. So for example earlier, the first set at the entrance of the raid dictated left. So we go down and activate the left statue in this pairing. And if done correctly, it will say a choice echoes in the future. Now at the other side of the bridge is set number two. Again, orient yourself as if you're facing the exit door with this side being the left and this side being the right. Go and activate the correct one that matched the second set at the beginning of the raid. And in our example, it was the right. So we go over to the right side and activate that statue. Once again, it'll say a choice echoes in the future. It's best to just get the second set of statues or the second statue in the sequence after you finish the encounter. Then finally, the last set is in the final room and can be activated after you kill Ear Youth the Death Singer. Above the arena where the three rooms are as shown, there are two statues flanking the middle room. The orientation of these statues is if you are facing out towards the Oversoul or Crota stage. So remember this when you jump up because they'll be opposite of the way you are looking at them. Activate the correct one. And from our example earlier, the final set at the beginning of the raid was left. So here we would activate the left statue. And you'll get a tool tip finally that says a balance is reached to the victor go the spoils. You've done it. All you have to do now is finish the raid and an extra chest will spawn at the end, giving you a guaranteed red border weapon. That's it. Pretty simple to be honest. Good luck knocking out the reprise Crota Zen and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.